Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to Speed Build Someday. Today, my friends, we are building something that is so far out of my comfort zone, but it took me so long to do, and also that I built like genuinely two months ago and I never posted on YouTube, but today we're doing a fancy art deco styled movie theater and bar. <laughs> It's a mouthful, quite a few descriptors here, but you'll see that I made this really cool, brightly colored, it's like cotton candy vibes, like blue and pink, amazing art deco bar thing. <laughs> but it's got a movie theater downstairs and then a bar upstairs, and I think it turned out so good. So you'll see them getting through this. It took me forever to do. I also, if you guys remember, I went to Italy in July. <laughs> it's September. But I built this before I went to Italy. Just for some context, yeah. So I think at least, I don't know. It's been a while, all right? It's been a while since I built this. I did it on stream as per usual. I stream every single day on Twitch and I built this while I was streaming. Uh, we do a lot of cool things, especially when I'm trying to do like funky builds that are a little bit more outside of my comfort zone. It's a lot easier for me to do them when I have like a Twitch audience there who can be like, yo, Kayla. Oh, yo, oh, oh, don't say that word to me. No one says that. I don't know why I used that word, but they're like, hey, Kayla. <laughs> Maybe you could try this thing or whatever and then we kind of together work on these builds and get through them And I desperately needed the help with this one because I was trying to go for some of this kind of style that we don't really have in the game So I was trying to mimic things that didn't exist and kind of create this funky look for this movie theater bar But it's art deco, but it's like like what is it? You know and so the actual build itself was really hard for me to do and trying to decide like what the outside should look like and all of that and like I said it took me so long to build this especially because i was doing a lot of like detailed things with lights and stuff like i changed the color of all the lights inside of the build i was doing a lot of like detailed work like that <sighs> and let me tell you it takes a while to do stuff like that <laughs> it's so difficult they make things so much harder than they need to be and i was trying to like put a ticket booth in the front of the build and i couldn't really get it to work and look normal so we ended up not having a ticket booth but there is a concession stand inside there's like a little um bar sort of bar area downstairs where you can like buy snacks and then upstairs is an actual bar and like some seating areas and a dance floor and all that good stuff but again downstairs is the movie theater itself and so when you go in here you can actually if you have a movie hangout watch movies in this room it's a big screen and you can like put on a movie and like watch a, a movie in the theater and this seems like a very fun date night thing for me to bring sims to like i can see myself having my sims come out on dates to the Art Deco movie theater bar <laughs> in Oasis Springs. And then, cause it's a fun place. I mean, it is a bar, so you can like watch a film and then also go upstairs and like hang out and stuff. And I'm fairly certain that I'm not a dummy and that I put a woohoo closet on the lot, but I don't remember. We'll check when, it, when we get to that part, but I'm pretty sure there's a woohoo closet here, which is very important, <laughs> obviously. And I, I, we got it, so don't worry. All the boxes are ticked, you know, woohoo closet, what else do you need really in The Sims? Nothing. You, yeah, no, that's so gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also got to use a bunch of things that I never use in this build. A lot of vintage glamour stuff, that fancy movie theater thing from, from movie hangout, from, no, from Get Famous. I don't know where I am anymore. But basically, I never use movie hangout stuff, Get Famous stuff really, and all the vintage glamour things were perfect for this build. And so I got a chance to like use all these items that I never get to. And also a bunch of wall light type things, because I never really play around with wall lights very often. But wall lights in this build, I used to add so much color everywhere because there's a lot of like alternating pink and blue lights and also in the front of it There's this really cool like spotlight thing that comes in get famous And it like literally is a big spotlight that kind of like shines around and moves around and I have one pink one and one blue one In the front of the build and it turned out really cute I was very excited and it's all based just I the entire color scheme is literally just based on that sign That I found in get famous because when else can you use that for one and also like the color scheme and the shape of it is perfect it, It's all we need for this. It was like made for this build and so as you can imagine I was very excited about it, but I tried to use a lot of things like um wall decor and items like these like pointy things from city living to try and have some level of like architectural interest on the outside of the build that sounds so annoying i know but like otherwise it'd be so flat and so i tried to use a lot of these little wall pieces because i wanted it to look a little bit more interesting i also think that the walls are too short but i don't think i changed that <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what happens in the end i don't really know yeah, I don't, who knows at this point, but I, I had a lot of trouble filling with like the size and spacing of this stuff when I was doing it, but we ended up getting through it. Like I said, this was like a multi-day build thing because I kind of rage quit at one point. I was like, I hate this lot. 
It's so stressful. <laughs> um, I also, big mistake, but in my head, when I started building this, you'll notice that I had an entire empty save file. Cause when I started building this, I was like, yeah, oh my God, I'm gonna build a new save file. Lil Simsy, you are not gonna build a new save file. You can barely keep up with the one you have already. <laughs> but when I first built this in my head, I was like, yes, I'm gonna make a new one. Because I've gone through phases of wanting to make a new save file a bunch of times. I started one a while ago and then I got too busy with school to finish it. Um, I might come back to it eventually, but like I've spent a lot of time working on making save files for The Sims. If you guys didn't know, I have a thing called The Simsy Save where I've renovated everything in the game. Um, and so this, you know, is a thing that I've loved doing for years in The Sims. And I I also like to just build new save games and stuff. It's, it's, I think it's so fun to like set up stuff. Like I have my most fun playing Sims when I'm setting things up, like inventing storylines for Sims and building the houses and making the Sims, but I don't like to actually play them that much and actually making Sims not so much either, to be honest, but like whatever. I love to build though and like set up storylines for people. And so making a save file where you can build everything and make all these Sims and stories, I think that's so fun and like my favorite way to play this game. And so, I spent a lot of time doing that and I was like, I want to do another one, but I'm no dummy and I know <laughs> that I'm a student who also works full time and like we, another save file, really? Simsy, you're an idiot. Maybe once I graduate, <laughs> maybe next spring, talk to me in like June, okay? And we'll come back to it. Maybe, we'll see, who knows? But as of right now, <laughs> as a person who spent all day writing an essay, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> can't do that. But yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress, so we'll see. But this was like the first build I was gonna do. I wanted to have like an art deco sort of themed area in Oasis Springs, but um, maybe someday I'll come back and revisit this and we can do some more builds. Maybe by that point, we'll actually have some like for real art deco objects in the game and some like stuff we can use to style the outsides because that would be a very fun pack. I would be very excited about that kind of pack. Oh, and you're gonna watch me struggle with the floor plan so much in a second, I'm terribly sorry. The floor plan was like the worst part of this build because I wanted to have the main focal point be a movie theater, but then I couldn't fit in like staircases and like the rest of the things I wanted, like the bar area and all of that was very difficult to like lay out. But it always is like that, right? Where you spend a long time fiddling and changing and fiddling and changing and then you finally get it and you're like, yes, I figured it out and you're good to go, you know? I actually don't remember where the stairs went. I have, oh, I know where they go. Sorry, never mind. don't worry guys. <laughs> I built this. I know where things are, I know what it looks like. I did build it like two months ago, but <laughs> they stay there, that's right. And there are bathrooms upstairs. I mean, it's got all the things. I am genuinely so excited to play with this lot. I can't wait to like bring Sims here. I mean, as if I actually play with Sims, but. One day, mark my, on stream probably. You know what's really sad, you guys? I have yet to play with Realm of Magic. And I mean this genuinely, like I've done a ton of building with it. I made Sims. I have barely touched the gameplay, which is so sad as a person who has loved the Sims for so many years. But like, I've been so busy this week and like last week too, that I haven't had time to play it. Like I've been streaming a lot of building. It's so my only time playing it has been on stream doing the builds for the Simsy save. Cause I have to release an update with the, with the builds in it and stuff. And so my only Realm of Magic gameplay so far has been exclusively building for it, which is tragic because <laughs> I want to play. I don't even know what it, how it works really. I mean, I do. That's a lie. I've seen gameplay of it before, but like I haven't played myself and I feel jealous people that have played it because I want to play it really bad. So if you've played, you suck and I'm jealous of you, but I, I've barely touched it. So one of these days I'll finally get my hands on the pack and get to play it a little bit, but today is just not that day. I, it's just because I'm pre-recording for TwitchCon right now, which by the way, I don't know what day I'm posting this video, but you know what? I'm posting it on Sunday and today I'm actually at TwitchCon. <laughs> Uh, today is TwitchCon. I have uh, actually a meetup today and a stream from TwitchCon, which is kind of wild. So if you're interested in seeing those things, my Twitch channel is linked down below. I'm kind of nervous because it's going to be like a stream from a booth at TwitchCon and I'm doing a real meetup with a real meetup line at TwitchCon, which I'm so scared about, but it should be super fun. I had one last year and it was great, um, but I'm, I'm always just nervous like doing meetup stuff because like what if nobody comes to it? I mean, people do and they will and I'll be fine, but like, what if no one comes to it and then I have a line and then there's like no one there? <sighs> It'll be fine. 
Hey, if you're at TwitchCon or going to TwitchCon, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Well, at this point, it's probably too late. But um, if you win, how was it? What did you guys think? I realized that a lot of my audience on Twitch, obviously, is um, separate from my YouTube one in the sense that, like, most of you guys here don't watch the streams. You know, like, it's a significantly smaller audience on Twitch. Like, my, my channel is, like, a fourth the size of my Twitch, of my YouTube channel. So, I realize that many of you are probably like, TwitchCon? What is that? <laughs> Where is that? What is going on? But I'm gonna be in San Diego next week for TwitchCon, so I'm really excited. I haven't been there ever before, um, and I love TwitchCon. It's, like, my favorite convention because I love Twitch so much. It's so fun. I love streaming on Twitch. <laughs> I honestly, you guys, I think that Twitch has, I mean, YouTube, I love YouTube. I always will, always have. But they're different platforms for different reasons, you know, obviously. And Twitch has changed my life so much for the better. Both YouTube and Twitch have for different reasons. But, like, streaming on Twitch has made me so much more confident with, like, being on camera. Before I started streaming, I never used to do face cam videos, really. I was very rare, and I'm doing one right now. Like, I, I cannot express to you how terrified I was of face cam content on YouTube, which seems super lame now because I'm like very much just like hey guys what's up you know and I don't really care but back in the day I used to be so scared of showing my face online not because of like I don't know it was it was dumb but I was worried genuinely people would <laughs> this is so sad I was scared people would see my face and then be like oh my god she's ugly and then unsubscribe and give me hate comments and like I was not ready for that as a 16 year old high school student. <laughs> and so I, I didn't show my face ever on my channel. Uh, I did like a couple videos. I, I had probably had like less than 10 on my channel before I started doing face cam and streaming on Twitch. And then when I started streaming on Twitch and I would have face cam every day in my streams, I got more comfortable on camera and like showing my face and talking on camera and stuff. And then I started doing face cam every day in my videos. And now it's like a normal thing, but it was not for a long time. And like now at this point, I cannot imagine not doing face cam. I even when I'm doing voiceovers, this is so lame and embarrassing, but like I do some builds that don't have face cam. And sometimes I'll like be talking to myself doing a voiceover, but like looking at the camera instead of the build because I forget that you can't see me. So I'm sitting here like staring at the camera the whole time and then I realize afterwards and I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even need to do that because I wasn't even on camera. Like, they couldn't even see, I wasn't recording it. But I'm more comfortable now and that's all that matters, right? It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> but basically, I love Twitch. And it's made me so confident in like my on-camera speaking abilities, I guess I should say. I know that's really lame, but like, it's made a big difference because before I was so nervous of it. Also, you guys, I split leveled the movie theater. Mm hmm. Because I wanted to have like staggered chairs a little bit. And so I tried to do a split leveling, split blah, 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 speak better, a split leveling thing so that you could have like the top level have a slightly higher. Because obviously, if you're in real life trying to come to this place and you don't have split leveled seating, I mean, like you're gonna be in the back and not be able to see anything. It'll be tragic. <laughs> I also blocked off the door. You can't get through it in this back area on purpose because I didn't want people using the back door to get to the outside. So just imagine in real life that door is locked and it's covered and honestly it's dark. You can't even see it. But I blocked it off on purpose. I like the idea of there being a door there, um, but you can't actually get through it because it's just a, it's a back door. It's, it's, you know, the maintenance team can use it, but no one else can. <laughs> But I was really happy with this build. I think it turned out really nice. I know I said it a million times, but I was pleased with this leveling. And then I did some really cool stuff as far as like lighting goes in here because I, I made it really dark and then I had like some emergency lights on the floor that were supposed to like lead you up the stairs and through your pathway, you know? And I thought that was kind of exciting. The, the idea of these tiny lights like leading you down the walkway. Isn't that cool? I thought it was cool and very realistic, right? I don't know. I was pretty pleased with myself for that one, so... <laughs> So I used the, the tiny lights. Um, I thought it was exciting. But it's the little things, these tiny details. I feel so lame for being like, guys, the tiny floor lights. But the tiny floor lights. And they also lead like right up to the very center of one of those <laughs> chairs. And I made them all like a purpley bluish tone, I think. So they aren't like super blinding red or blinding white or anything, but they are um, kind of simple, kind of subtle. And there are other lights in here, but they're all off um, or very, very dim because I figured like, you know, you can turn them on if the theater is on and stuff, but you know, in most cases, um, if the theater is on, if like, you know, it hasn't started yet, but then when the movie starts, lights dim and then it's dark in there and then you can watch the movies. And it was, it was just really fun. I was very excited about the idea of that. Cause like, honestly, I never really use movie hangout like ever in any of my like gameplay at all because I use the bill items sometimes and the cast is pretty fun but I don't find myself touching 
like, most of it. Like, the actual main focus of it is the movies. Like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, like, watch movie with your sim friends, you know? I'll, like, have my kids be like, yeah, movies. But I don't actually ever use it that often. Um, and, like, sit down and, like, decide, like, okay, we're gonna watch a movie tonight, you know? I just kind of, like, use the TV to get my fun up. And I'm like, yeah, movie, sure, whatever. Watch Simder, you know? But I spent a lot of time when I was doing this build, like, actually watching the movies themselves. Because if you haven't seen them in a long time, this pack has, like, actually really funny, cute movies in it. Because they've obviously made these animated things um, that play, and it's all using The Sims 3, and they have a lot of really cute stories behind them. So I, we spent, like, 30 minutes on stream just, like, talking about and watching these dumb movies in The Sims 4. And they were fun because, obviously, I'd, like, seen them before, and but I hadn't actually, like, sat down and watched them from the beginning because I just, like, see clips on my Sims screen. I didn't actually, like, look at them and, like, watch the movies. But there's some really cute ones, and I had fun. There's, like, a zombie one. Great stuff. Just great. They're really weird, too. I mean, if you haven't seen them, seriously, guys. Movie Hangout. <laughs> it's a weird pack. I feel like we have gotten so overly critical of Sims stuff packs recently because we're all like, mosquito stuff, that's lame. The content in it is bad. But, like, if you think about Movie Hangout stuff, as far as the gameplay goes, like, your Sims just got, like, a new interaction on the TV they can click on. Like, realistically, the gameplay doesn't exist. Like, that, I mean, all you can do is click on a TV and, and, yeah, they made the movies and stuff, but, like, again, realistically, all your Sims can do is have a new option on the TV. Like, it doesn't really make a difference in your gameplay at all if you don't want to, like, sit down and watch the films. And we have, like, a popcorn machine now, but, like, boo-hoo, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. And there's some cute cast items and build stuff, but, like, realistically... Movie Hangout is pretty lacking as far as gameplay goes, and I, like, no one complains about that. <laughs> Most of the stuff packs are that way. Like, what we got, like, I mean, I guess Butlers and Vintage Glamour stuff, but there, there are some cool things they add, but stuff packs very much have very limited gameplay, and for some reason people are, like, really hating on Mosquito stuff, and I don't get it. Like, I think Mosquito Stuff is by far one of the best stuff packs. Lacking the most in cast content and is a weird collab. But, like, as far as gameplay goes, the photography stuff is really awesome. And it does the thing where it expands on an existing thing we have in a game and makes it better. It's, like, the perfect stuff pack, I think. But aside from the dumb collab and the lacking cast content. But, like, as far as gameplay goes and build items, super fun pack. I still don't know why Movie Hangout is so popular. <laughs> Plus, I, like, in building this pack and using the stuff more often in it and, like, thinking about the gameplay more, I kind of realized, I was like, you know, people ask me for stuff pack suggestions and I say Movie Hangout sometimes, and now that I think about it, why? <laughs> like, the, the build stuff is kind of cute, but also, like, kind of crazy as far as color schemes go. There isn't much, like, normal things that you can use in, like, regular gameplay. And, like, the gameplay itself, I mean, it, we are, it's just, you just click on the TV. Like, I don't know why I recommend that pack. Most of the time when I get asked that question, if I was going to recommend, like, a couple packs for The Sims 4, if I was going to give you, like, one stuff pack, one game pack, one expansion pack, Laundry Day, Parenthood, Seasons. Hands down, no question about it, the best packs for The Sims 4. And I, like, I, I feel bad, you know, feeling that way and hate, because, like, honestly, I was thinking about this the other day, because I was looking at the list of game packs, because someone asked about game packs and, like, which one they should get, and they're like, I already have Parenthood, but then what else should I get? And I was like, huh, what else should you get? And I realized in, in doing that that I literally never use any of the game packs at all except for Parenthood. Like, I think the Parenthood gameplay is really fun, and I use it a lot in my regular gameplay, and it feels like it integrates really well, and to a point where you can use it in, like, any household. But the other ones, I never use. Like, Jungle Adventure, barely touch that. Build stuff is fun, but, like, I barely touch that pack. I mean, Stranger Veil, like, when are you gonna use that? Like, I never use any of the gameplay in any of the other game packs at all. And Dine Out, sometimes, I think Dine Out is my second most used game pack, but even that one's kind of glitchy. And, like, Spa Day is fun, but when do you, like, how often do you go to the spa? And, like, camp, like, camping, outdoor retreat, how often do you actually use that pack? And I realized when I was looking at it, I was like, wait, I think I, like, actually hate all the game packs. <laughs> Hate's a strong word. I don't hate them. I just, I don't find myself using them very often, which is fine because there's a lot of content for The Sims. And again, I don't really do gameplay stuff so much anymore because I mostly just build. And so maybe that's why. 
but I need to play The Sims more. <laughs> I just do too much building these days, so I, I get all like, yeah, these packs suck, I never use them, but realistically, I never use any packs, so who am I to talk about using packs? Anyway, you're seeing the upstairs come along together really nicely here. You're probably noticing that that area where the dine-out chairs are isn't actually functional as like a seating dining area. I thought of it being more of like, they're like big couches, instead of it being like a dining table, because I wanted to put a table there, but it was all too big, and so I just put those big couches instead, and I liked that idea better, because it looks like a kind of cute sort of lounge-like area, um, but I used these, you know, booth seating instead of just chairs. I thought it looked really good though, because it was this big chair, you know, I thought it, it kind of fit in really well. Also, those bathrooms are the brightest rooms in the whole build, because everything else is all like purple and pink and blue and dark, and then the bathrooms are like bright. I may have changed the lighting in them, but I don't remember exactly, to be honest. But, you know, who knows at this point? I don't, I don't remember. It was two months ago. I'm, I'm learning again for the first time too. I'm just kidding. But there are a lot of things I got to use in this pack, like that, um, the jukeboxes, both from Strangerville and Get Famous. I never got to use those items, those music player things. Got to use them here. Um, I put some fun seating. I think this place is technically a bar. Um, so there's plenty of, of space to go and there is the bar upstairs and all of that. But, um, the hardest part for me was doing the downstairs of this build. Also, I just ripped out a big string from my chair. I mess with my chair too much. My cat like started pulling out strings from my chair and now I just mess with them and pull them out. Oh my God. I have two now. <laughs> I'm gonna rip out all the string in my chair. <laughs> it's an expensive chair. DX Racer. Can you give me another one that doesn't have strings coming out of it, please? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> anyway, um, blame my cat. Not even my cat, Snap. My parents' cat, Pogi. This happened when I still lived at my parents' house, and it's been like a slow decline over the past year since I've lived here of me pulling it out myself. Pogi started it, and I made it worse, but like significantly worse. There's like holes in my chair now. I shouldn't tell you this. It's embarrassing, but it's true. There are holes in my chair. DX Racer, please give me another one. I should, I could just get one, but instead I'm not going to because they're expensive. <laughs> And I'll just complain about the holes in my chair and then eventually keep pulling out string until there's no string left and then maybe I'll buy a new one. But um, anyway, <laughs> you'll see the downstairs is kind of coming along nicely. I spent a very, very long time doing lighting in this build. Like most of the time just doing lighting. And I had a hard time deciding what to do with some of the spaces down here because I wasn't sure if I wanted to have like a game room or like a seating area or what. And so I ended up putting uh, like this little concession stand thing that I built. It's just counters and like a fake bar. It isn't actually a real bar, but you can make popcorn down here. There's a popcorn machine. Um, and so you could like make your popcorn and go watch the film, but you can't actually buy it. But you can make it yourself if you want to. And there's like a computer and stuff to kind of like fill it in and balloons to be like, hey, look, concession stand, you know? I thought it was really sweet. I liked the colors on it with the little, I don't know, I put a little menu down in the pink and blue balloons and I was proud of myself, okay? Like, annoyingly proud of myself for this. And I couldn't put an actual cash register because it wasn't like a retail lot and so I instead just chose to put a computer here but like facing the wrong way because technically the bar part, like the computer would sit on the counter part on the other side but I put it on, I, I like put it on a desk and then rose the desk up. Rose? raised the desk up a little bit so it looks like the computer sitting there but you can't actually use that computer, it's not functional. But in my head, someone would be standing there using the computer <laughs> at the concession stand. <laughs> but yeah, not actually functional, but there are vending machines. So you can buy vending machine food and you can make the popcorn and there's plenty of stuff that you could do and eat here. And also there is the bar upstairs. So you could buy food up there too. Plenty of spots. It's, it could like function like a restaurant a little bit if you wanted it to, cause you could just get your like vending machine sandwich, you know, and then <laughs> go to town. But that is the end of the build. I cut out the outside because it was just me putting like palm trees down and I spent so long looking through debug for palm trees with lights that it was just not worth the time of leaving the build in. But you can see in the screenshots, it turned out really cute and I'm pretty proud of myself. So on this note though, I'm gonna say it again. I'm pretty proud of myself. Said it like 17 times, but it's true. It's on my gallery or origin. It's on my gallery. My ID is Lil Simsy if you want to download it. But make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so you will see. You will. S I, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Help. You will see me tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. You will see me. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Uh, I can't do my own outros anymore. I don't know where I am.